Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be comparing the difference between spray sealer and brush-on sealer. So the two types of sealer that I have in my hands here are Rust-Oleum Lacquer Spray and DecoArt DuraClear Gloss Varnish. This comes in three different um, varnishes. You can get matte, satin, or gloss. This is the gloss. And then this comes in the lacquer. This is what I have used today. And it provides a high sheen um, the more coats you put on it. So the difference between a spray sealer and a brush-on sealer is quite different, even though the results are similar. So for example, this, the spray sealer goes on much quicker. So it's a more um, mess free application. You don't have to use any brushes or anything. You just give it a nice quick spray. Um, and if you, if you are real careful about your application, you can get a very smooth, nice, even coverage, you know, in just like 10 seconds or less. It really doesn't take a lot of time. Um, and then you can build up the gloss by adding more coats if you wish to do that. Um, but it gives a nice factory-like finish is what it says on the, on the bottle. The downside to a spray sealer is that it needs to be used in 50 to 90 degree temperatures. So what do you do in the winter time? In the winter time, you either have to spray this indoors like in a garage or something. I wouldn't recommend doing it in your house because of the fumes. Or you have to switch to a brush on sealer in the winter time. Um, the other downside to a spray on sealer is I know many of you guys like to personalize your door hangers at paint parties and craft fairs, and that's difficult to put a clear coat or a sealant coat on it after they've been customized if you're indoors at a craft show. So you really don't want to have to go outside and spray them. So that is the downside to using a spray sealer. Um, I have heard complaints about certain types and brands of spray sealers changing um, a, the colors of your your paint. So for example, if you paint white on top of red, sometimes it can turn the white pink. Or if you paint um, white and then you spray some sealer on it, it can change, change your white to yellow. I have never had that problem with this brand. So it, I would say it's pretty safe to use to preserve your colors. So that's one of its great um, factors. All right, so now let's talk about the brush on sealer. So this is the DuraClear Gloss Varnish by DecoArt. It can easily be applied using just a flat tip brush. Um, I wouldn't recommend using a sponge brush if it, unless it's a brand new sponge brush because sometimes older sponge brushes can start to deteriorate and come apart and you wouldn't want any of that getting stuck in your clear coat. So I prefer to use a flat tip brush. Um, you can build up the coats on this to make it more glossy the more coats you put on it, but the first coat is pretty glossy. The downside to using a brush on sealer is that just that, you're gonna have brush strokes. And so um, the more you go across it in the same direction and even out that coverage, the less of a problem that will be. Um, but on the upside, it has zero fumes. You can use it indoors. It dries pretty quickly um, and it's gonna give you a nice um, smooth coverage. So let me show you the difference of what, what it looks like when one has been sprayed versus brushed so that you can see the difference in the quality of the finish. Okay, so as you can see here, this one was done using this spray sealer. We'll set it right there. And this one was done using the gloss varnish. As you can see, the one on the right is much more glossy than the one on the left. I actually prefer this look right here where it has a gloss to it, but it's so much smoother with the spray gloss, or the spray, gloss spray. But this one, um, even though I did my best to get really nice, smooth, up and down brush strokes, if you look really closely, you can still see those brush strokes. But of course, from back here, you're not gonna notice those sort of things. I'm giving you guys the close up look so that you can kind of see the difference. See how smooth this one looks and how that one looks. And then this one is very glossy and this one is only sort of glossy. Now, if I had put more, this is only one coat of the spray sealer and this is two coats of the gloss varnish. So, so that's part of the reason why this one is much glossier than this one. But either way, if I'd put a second coat of spray on this one, it still would have this really nice, smooth finish. So there's the difference, you guys, between the spray 
and the brush on sealer. If you found this video helpful and want to learn more about door hangers, I want to offer you my free Door Hanger 101 ebook. All you have to do to get it is go to southernadornmentsdecor.com forward slash ebook. Thank you for watching.